and uh, this young man here is Mr John Evans. Um, can I first of all welcome my chairman, my boss, and his good lady from Solvo, we just found out it's a long lost relation. <laughs> of course, uh, Deputy Lord Lieutenant, Deputy Lord Lieutenant, uh, definitely, oh, of course, Mr Jenny Pice has in medals. My very good friend, Mr Peter Stock, uh, Mayor Perry Dock, and everybody that's here. Again, I apologise for the weather, but I uh, hope everybody enjoys it. Uh, at least I know that Brian is G.I. Joe, and I, I thought he was um, Eisenhower, but uh, it's, <laughs> um, it's wonderful to be here today and to see so many friends. Mr Chairman, we're very grateful. This is the second time you've been in Pumble Dock in the last couple of weeks. You were here for the... Uh, for the tank fire anniversary, and now you're here for uh, for this special occasion. Last year we opened this this chapel building uh, as part of the Cadu Open Doors weekend, but it was just you came in and looked at a building, and I know that so many people who hadn't been in here before, even though Pepper Dog people hadn't seen this building, and they were most impressed by it. I think we've, we're going one step further this this year. We are using the building. We're starting to use it for heritage purposes. And I must say, we've had wonderful support from the community, from organizations, as you can see around here. And this is early days, we're just, this is 10 o'clock. The county council have been superb to actually uh, allow us the use of the building and to support us in every way. And there's so many uh, county council involvement of this whole weekend has taken place behind the scenes as well. Mr. Chairman, we'd like to pass on to the Chief Executive and everybody else uh, our grateful thanks. I thank you very much for that. Um, I'd also like to thank Milton Haven Port Authority, who have been the main sponsors for the 40s weekend. And Claire, thank you. Will you pass on to your Chief Exec and everybody else uh, our grateful thanks to you for the wonderful support we've had collectively and uh, all over the years from Port Authority and particularly for this weekend. And to all the organisations here, it's delightful to see so many uh, here with, 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 with medals of, of the connection with the services as well. And uh, Jerry and, and Gordon, thank you very much for, for attending. Um, I think many of you will know we have aspirations for this building and it's to, it's to, to become a military heritage centre. If you think of Pembroke Dock's history, Royal Navy, 260 ships, five Royal Yachts, 120 years of naval history. Uh, well, in fact, it's 193, 193 years with the Royal Maritime Auxiliary Service, which has recently finished here. You've got 150 years of army involvement in this community, right up to 1967. And then you had really the cameo, and that's enough to keep me going for a lifetime and a half, the flying boats of Bromwood Dock, uh, the RES here. You find another community in Britain which has not got uh, the, the links that we have with all three armed services. And let's build on what we're doing today, here and this weekend, and the 40s dance that is coming up. Let's build on that as well. And um, uh, thank you very much for coming. May I ask the, the chairman to officially uh, declare this open? And uh, thank you very much, sir, for all your uh, support of us. He's got a family here as well, and uh, for this occasion. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, Deputy Lord Lieutenant. I am delighted to be here this morning to officially open at the award-winning Garrison Chapel to the general public for the weekend. This, I am sure you will agree, is a very special building, as has been said before, believed to be the only Georgian classical chapel in South Wales. Having fallen into almost total disrepair for a number of years, it was bought by the County Council in 2003 and restored to its former glory. This property, along with two other historic buildings in Pembroke Dock, owned by the County Council, are open to the public over the weekend as part of the European Heritage Open Doors Day. This is the second year of the initiative, which is coordinated by the Civic Trust for Wales and supported by CADU, the Historic Environment Service of the Welsh Assembly Government. 
The other two buildings involved in this weekend's event, which is being replicated throughout the country, are all nearby. They are the Potter Church Tower and the Market Hall, both of which are beneficiaries of the Pembroke Dock Townscape Heritage Initiative. All are steeped in history and have a story to tell of this famous dockyard. This year, the Garrison Chapel, we have the added attraction of the 1940s exhibition. These wonderful displays turn the clock back to when Pembroke Dock found itself playing a crucial role during the dark days of World War II. I know that a great deal of work has gone into this exhibition and I am sure it will prove immensely popular for both local people and visitors. Mae hi'n falch un sydd benfro bod siwtle i gael ei pawb i ddod i weld beth sy'n cael ei ddangos dros y blynydd ddau rhyddel ar bod yn ei ar cyn i ni. Mae beth mor i bob i'n ddod. Before I close, I would like to thank the volunteers who are manning the building today and over the weekend. Without their help, none of this would be possible. Thank you very much. And now declare this building open for the weekend, officially open.